The murder of an American woman and her Australian boyfriend in Canada could be connected to other crimes along a remote highway. Investigators have released this sketch of a person of interest in the killings of China Deese and Lucas Fowler. Nikki Batiste shows us why police are not ruling out a connection with two other incidents. It's a love story that's ended tragically. Stephen Fowler is sending a desperate plea for information surrounding the deaths of his son, Lucas, and Lucas's girlfriend, North Carolina native, China Deese. Two young people who had everything ahead of them uh, tragically murdered. The young couple was wrapping up a two-week-long road trip through northern British Columbia when they were found shot to death last Monday by their broken-down van. Newly released surveillance video shows the couple hugging at a gas station two days before their bodies were discovered. Police also released this sketch of a person they say was seen talking to Fowler. About 300 miles south in the same province, several days later, police found a burning car belonging to two missing Canadian teenagers. During that investigation, the body of an older man was found a little over a mile away. Police released this sketch of the victim asking for help identifying him. This is, a, you know, it's unusual to have two major investigations undergoing of this nature in northern BC at the same time. And so we recognize that there is a possibility that these could be linked. 48 Hours has previously reported on a notorious remote stretch of road near these crimes, dubbed the Highway of Tears. At least 18 women in the last 40 years have disappeared or been found murdered along it. As authorities investigate whether any of these new cases might be related, the victim's friends and family want answers. Why? He was such a friendly guy. He was kind to people he didn't even know. It's surreal. Fowler's father is a police officer in Australia and has two colleagues with him in Canada. Police haven't determined the cause of death of the man found near the missing teen's car and whether there was any connection. But given this highway's history, it certainly makes you wonder. Wow. 18 yes. women along that highway yeah. over the half dozen, uh, 40 years, you said? That's 40 years, unbelievable. yes. Yes, it, yes. we have to wait and see. Very suspicious and very concerning, but we don't know. Thank you very much, Nikki.